Hi, I'm Simon Wood, CEO for Ubersecure. Ubersecure is a CIM specialist providing advanced solutions to many industries, allowing them to effectively manage external identities. In the next 15 minutes, I'll outline why this should be important to you and increase your understanding of how you can use identity management to protect and accelerate your business. CIM, or certainly the C part, does mean different things to different people. This is an important consideration, uh, and we need to recognize that, at least from a Ubersecure perspective, this means external identity. That C could be a customer, a consumer, but equally, it could be uh, a citizen in a government context, or a partner or a supplier. In all cases, these are external identities. And note that in that list, some of those identities were not just people, individuals. They could be devices, things, or organizations. Uh, think, for example, about an order place with Amazon. Now consider that in a B2B scenario. Organizational identity is just as important as individual, and embracing that, recognizing that, can bring significant benefits. Businesses are built on interactions, with some form of commercial transaction being the end game economic driver behind that. Identity and access management platforms help to facilitate those interactions by ensuring appropriate understanding of the parties involved. Ubersecure takes this further and explicitly handles organizations as well as individuals as valid identity domains. After all, your customers, partners and suppliers are often businesses. They're not just a container for individuals. So don't consider a business as just a placeholder for individuals. It is an identity in its own right. And as I said previously, recognizing and embracing this can deliver significant benefits. In offline interactions, identity can be managed manually, whether that's face-to-face uh, -face in meetings or by you know, direct contact with business. However, when you go online, digital identity is critical and key. Now more than ever, we're seeing a massive shift in business operations to digital first. Traditional suppliers are uh, closing their shop fronts, shutting their shop doors and moving online. And it's here that identity management becomes critical to the success of the operation. Of course, it's the current global pandemic that has prioritized digital transformation projects, particularly those that impact customer experience and e-commerce. CIM is essential to make customer experience simple and effective, and is currently the most in demand of the many CIM use cases as we see e-commerce growth explode. You'll notice that in our vision, we talk about simplification, uh, to simplify the automation of interactions between the identity domains. And there is a key reason for that focus on simplification. Digital identity is complex. Get your identity strategy right, and there will be significant benefits to your business. For example, a secure, simple and easy to use online presence will boost your brand, make you a trusted brand in your customer's eyes. In terms of operational costs, automating, uh, consolidating, uh, having a consistent identity strategy will pay significant dividends in reducing those costs. When it comes to user experience and customer engagement, then we know that yeah, that user experience is king. Uh, that needs to be considered, managed, and is a core part of that strategy. And finally, a digital identity strategy is a core component in your uh, compliance, uh, from regulatory compliance, uh, domain-specific compliance. It's critical that that's in place and working effectively. There is, of course, a flip side here. Getting identity wrong can have significant consequences for the business. Loss of trust from data breaches. Unfortunately, we are seeing time and time again, news article after news article of yet more personally identifiable information being leaked or stolen from organizations, uh, systems being hacked, uh, vulnerabilities being exposed. Having an appropriate identity management strategy can reduce that. Operational inefficiencies. Um, if you don't have appropriate identity management in place, then you can't benefit from the efficiencies that that brings and inevitably those inefficiencies will perpetuate or even increase. Bad user experience, customer frustration. Um, if you don't have the, the simple ability to look after them, that's, that's a problem. And finally, 
uh, fines from non-regulatory compliance. We're seeing those becoming more and more prevalent now. Let's look at those four areas in a little bit more detail. So starting with operational efficiency. A um, couple of simple examples. Empowering users reduces workload. So if you think about the users that you have, um, you'll have call centers at the moment to uh, deal with their demands, handle operations that they bring to you, giving them the ability to manage their data set, configure their identity, manage their identity directly, will bring uh, a significant efficiency increase. Giving them delegated administration um, over their, their data, their identity set, their identity usage um, is, is a significant benefit. You can achieve full process automation in a number of areas through doing this. But further, if we look at not just delegating administration, but the core rights that those user has, delegating that within their organizations and beyond, um, vast savings are possible. And we have some great examples of this in, in the real world and have um, customers where they've achieved 99% savings through the result of implementing such a, a delegated system. Customer experience has always been key. Delivering uh, an identity responsive user journey and uh, enhancing customer value as a result of that. Making sure that the appropriate level of security, compliance, identity, verification, validation is in place for the user as they are guided through your presence, your digital online presence to that ultimate commercial transaction that you're looking to undertake. Um, a low friction, easy engagement for lower value transactions and an appropriate um, higher authentication, stronger authentication when you're looking for high value transactions. Again, we have some great examples of retail delivering high value loyalty schemes based around an appropriate use of identity management and an appropriate level of authentication and security as the customer moves through that journey within those loyalty schemes. Security, of course, is always key. Consolidating identities, uh, minimizing duplication, reduces the areas that can be attacked and is a, is a core, core part of your, your battle in, in, securing, in securing the systems. More importantly, providing a uniform front door or even a single front door gives you a single focus to protect, um, but also a single place where you can look for and detect any anomalies or uh, issues that, that may be um, building or trying to um, attack you, uh, as we've seen uh, recently. We see many breaches out there. The many, many breaches that, that are reported are either from uh, no identity management strategy or um, an inappropriately considered identity management strategy. Finally, regulatory compliance. Having uh, a direct policy to address uh, privacy, data protection needs as part of that identity management strategy is key. Um, it allows you to tackle that immediately. Um, of course, an identity management platform isn't the whole solution to regulatory compliance, but is an important key component of that. But further, it allows you to make decisions which can massively reduce your, your risk of uh, compliance issues as well. For example, outsourcing the identity ownership you don't need to own all of the data required. You can use external identity sources, uh, potentially social at a, at a low um, a low assurance level, but also uh, stronger authentications, um, stronger um, IDPs that are available. Use those identities rather than building that identity set yourself. And that provides significant benefits, significant value uh, as you drive towards and ensure you maintain regulatory compliance. We have a number of examples where customers uh, and, and organizations have found having an appropriate CIM platform key uh, to their compliance issues. Uh, and in fact, um, uh, we've even had them state that GDR compliance could not have been met without uh, an appropriate CIM platform. Here at Ubersecure, we've been addressing this uh, for the last 15 years or so. We have built the Ubersecure identity platform so that organizations can protect and grow their business in the identity centric era, but without losing focus on what they do best, their core business. We have a core identity and access management platform. It's a specialized solution for individuals and organizations, external identities, so customers, consumers, citizens, partners, um, suppliers, um, CIM and B2B IAM uh, supply chain management. We have a full stack proven identity platform. It's time proven in multiple, multiple government deployments. 
Um, and we currently offer that in a variety of deployment models. So we see the trend today very much for as a service. Um, so that can be identity management delivered as a service, either from public cloud or private cloud. But we still cater for on-prem deployment as well, where from a security perspective, you may want to hold that identity set closer to you within your own data center, within your own procedures, controls, and so on. And we still enable that to happen. We've talked a lot about simplification. Uh, an easy implementation, reducing time to market is critical. So the ability to rapidly embed the UberSecure identity platform into web, mobile and legacy applications is key. UberSecure has employees who have multiple decades of identity experience. We've solved uh, many of the costs and the risks that uh, exist out there and we strongly believe that you should not be looking for in-house development to, to build out your identity platform. Um, an organization should focus on its core USPs and bring in the components that it needs to be able to deliver and build on those. And we very much see identity and access management of one of those components that should be brought in by an organization. Finally, uh, the platform is, is also specially optimized to connect to legal entity identifiers. They provide a highly assured, globally unique identity for organizations. Um, that in itself is a subject for another presentation at a, at a later date. In summary, Identity management can protect and accelerate your business. It can bring proven benefits in security, efficiency, user experience, and compliance. I'd like to thank you for your time, and I'd love to engage further with you. Please reach out and contact us for more information on any of the points raised in this presentation, or to learn in more detail how the right identity and access management strategy can protect and accelerate your business. Thank you.